Good morning. Welcome back to Fox 17 News this morning. We've got a live look from Nashville International Airport where the stage is set for a busy weekend here in Nashville. Uh, whether you're here for TSU's graduation and an appearance uh, from Oprah Winfrey, maybe you're going to Trevor Noah at the Ryman, the big craft fair, one of our several uh, graduation ceremonies, and of course, the three-day Taylor Swift concert. It's jam-packed. Our photojournalist, David McClure, caught up with some folks over at the airport just uh, minutes ago. They're in town for the big concert. Don't blame me, love made me crazy. If it doesn't you, ain't doing it right. So save me my joy, use my baby. I've been using for the rest of my life. Taylor, we love you. Yeah, you're our queen. Oh, boy. <laughs> The Swifties in full effect. The city is predicting between four and 500,000 people are going to be in town this weekend. Uh, for a little bit of perspective, when we had the NFL draft, 600,000 people were expected to make between 50 and $100 million in visitor spending. All these people are coming here. I know it gets a little irritating if you're a local but they're putting money into the local economy. All right, a little bit more perspective for you now. The 2019 NFL draft produced $133 million worth of money spent here. Okay, that's eating at the restaurants, going to the bars, you know, ride shares, whatever. Um, we're looking at this year, so far, $38 million. Okay. Fox 17 News providing you updates on the turnout leading up to, during, and after the weekend. We'll be sure to follow the money for you as we make dollars and cents of it all. This is a story that has a lot of you sounding off on our Fox Nashville Facebook page. So we wanted to share some of your comments here this morning. Taylor Swift concerns. Rena Campbell Rumpf wrote in saying parts were now the it city. The traffic tomorrow and all weekend will be insane. But I have a 20 year old niece that has adored Taylor forever and is so excited about the entire weekend. So I'll probably cuss in traffic tomorrow. <laughs> but I hope every person going to the concerts this weekend has the time of their life. That's good perspective. Thanks for your comment, Rena. Donna Bentley commented, I honestly hope the concert outcome makes the fans happy. I'm not a fan, but it is a real treat to get to see your favorite. Here's a comment from Joshua Manning who shared this. I'm praying for rain tomorrow night. Joshua, why is that? Are you looking for ambiance? Or as, as we heard from a Taylor Swift fan yesterday, the rain makes things magical at a T Swift concert. Now, I wouldn't know anything about that, but. But you might. But it sounds like it might rain at least one of the three nights. Yeah, Greg? All three nights, chances for rain. Yeah. And you and I are going to have a one on one sit down interview on Monday. Greg wants me to spill the beans on our experience. We're going I Sunday night. Know. I'm I, taking my daughter. Which is the sweetest thing in the world. And, you know, the amount of effort you went through to get the tickets, too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We're pulling but, an all-nighter. So when I see y'all Monday morning, give me a little grace, okay? And I'm going to ask a lot of questions night. as well. <laughs> we're we're, we're getting all the beans here. <laughs> Take a look at your forecast. More things that are happening this week. And like we mentioned, graduations here. This is graduation Saturday for so many of our local colleges. We've got MTSU, 9 a.m. and 1.30. There are two different ceremonies there. TSU, where Oprah will be. Yeah, so we get Taylor and Oprah and all kinds of people on one weekend. Why not just bring them all in at once? Beaumont, 9.30. Lipscomb, 3.30. And then Trevecca at 9 a.m. Slightly higher chance of storms for tomorrow earlier in the day. Now we're going to be warm. It's going to be a warm day across the board. We'll be up near 80 degrees right in the middle of the day, but there will be that chance for a shower storm. If you're anywhere outdoors after about, I would say, noon today into the weekend, plan for possibility of rain. When I say possibility, I mean it's not a guarantee that we do see showers because our rain chances are down to the few categories starting tomorrow and I've dropped them for today as well. However, you can see there's also a little bit of light rain that's happening out there right now for us. It was much more active a good two, three hours ago. Now we're pretty much down to a sprinkle at best, but there will be a few more showers leading into this evening. And so that means if you do have any of those concert tickets and you're leaving the airport watching us right now singing. No, you need to have the poncho. You can't take the umbrella. 67 degrees today. We'll go to 78 tomorrow and 82 on your Sunday. Going into next week, temperature not a problem. We're going to keep things warm the entire week. And right now we'll see how we're looking in steer clear traffic. Justin. 
here clear traffic at 751. Let's take a quick look if we can. Let's go to Riley Parkway at Elm Hill Pike in the Dallason area. Disabled vehicle here on the shoulder. TDOT is out there to try to assist. So uh, things are looking a little bit better uh, for that particular driver. They're at least getting some assistance, not just sitting there on the shoulder. Uh, speaking of the shoulder, that's what we're dealing with at Vietnam Veterans Boulevard and Gallatin Pike. As uh, the uh, road work out there continues, watch out for the workers as the drivers make their way at the exit, exit three, there in Hendersonville. Drive time's looking nice so far this morning. We'll give you a closer look coming up in a few. Uh, good stuff, Justin. Thank you. At 750, just about 752, new from the Nashville Business Journal this morning, Vanderbilt University adding to its property over on West End. They just bought some land along 29th Avenue South. We've got it mapped out here for you. This is currently home to Kraft and Company, which is an accounting firm that's relocating over to Berry Hill. The university paid more than $2 million for this spot. Uh, they've been buying up Midtown land for the last few years because they're planning for the evolution and the growth of their campus. Overall, they've spent $195 million on getting more land since 2019. We go to Wilson County this morning where Mount Juliet firefighters are looking for this person who they say targeted one of their fire stations. And for those of you who might be looking to get out of Dodge this weekend, maybe take a little road trip out of town, we'll show you where you can get the best prices at the pump. Gun Jeopardy, my Bialik returns. Anything can happen here. Tonight at 5. During the Sprint sales tax holiday, we'll pay yourself. Nashville International Airport, we have seen a steady stream of traffic all morning long, both in and out uh, of the terminals. Taylor Swift fans have been flying in from all over the country this morning. Our photojournalist David McClure caught up with some folks who are very excited to be here. Excellent. And we've been fans of hers for like... Actually, since I was 11. <laughs> yes, like literally since 2008. And we waited in eight hours of a line to See get our tickets. Yeah, and course. all of our friends are here. And it's going to be so fun. So Sweet. fun. <laughs> I hope we have Greg's mic ready to go because... Um, Oh, I think my, my oh. microphone battery is dead. Okay, okay, so stand by. Greg's mic battery just died. In the meantime, I'll, I'll tap dance for a little bit here and show you a live look at the Doppler radar. Those two young women who are here for the concert, I hope they brought their ponchos because we are going to be dodging rain and some possible thunderstorms. Nothing severe, okay? We're not talking code red weather. Just off and on rain and storms. The Doppler radar showing us we've already had some light rain throughout the mid-state this morning. That is very true. It's been dying down. Hey, I'm back. Nice Hi. to talk to you here. <laughs> uh, taking a look here. Uh, the radar has died down to almost just a sprinkle that's out there over the last couple of hours. So not much to track here, but so many things happening going into your weekend. One of those, Girls in the Run 5K. It's at Two Rivers Park in Nashville. Erica Glover, who has the day off today. She's going to be there tomorrow. 7 a.m. and the 5k starts at 8 a.m. You can still sign up. I'll tell you right now, there could be a shower or two we have to work into, but our rain chances have gone down significantly since you went to bed last night. So the new thing in the forecast is that rain is going down, but it's not at zero. So you're still planning for rain. 81 degrees for tomorrow, 82 on your Sunday. It will not be that warm today though. Yesterday we had mid 70s. Today we're lucky if we get the upper 60s. Steer clear traffic at 757. Let's take a quick look outside. This is going to be Riley Parkway at Elm Hill Pike in the Donaldson area. Good morning to all of you. We were just watching a disabled vehicle here in this particular area. Thankful to see it is no longer there and you are smooth sailing out there uh, for your traffic so far this morning. Overall drive times also all in the green. Hendersonville, Clarksville, Franklin, everybody looking okay. Thank you, Justin. I want you to take a moment and look at your screen. The man that you see right here is the man the Mount Juliet Fire Department is looking for. They say he broke into Station 2 that's over on North Green Hill Road and vandalized that station around 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday. Couple different looks here. Dark brown hair, looks like maybe a mustache, maroon shirt, black shorts. 
They'd really like to find this guy and hold him accountable for what they say he did. Also new this morning, AAA reports the national average for a gallon of gas is ticking a little downward again, $3.57. We always try to save you some money here on our morning show. And as such, we show you the cheapest gas prices. We're going to go to Lebanon right now. This is east of Nashville. Look at that price, $2.98. We're below $3. Hallelujah in Middle Tennessee. Orlinda, not bad. 313. Let's check another spot. Ashland City. This is going to be west of Nashville, a little south. 311. Okay, not too bad. Let's go south of Nashville, down to Murray County. Good morning to all of our friends waking up with us in Columbia. 315 is your average. So, Lebanon, you're the winner this morning. 298 for a gallon of regular unleaded. In our economy, there's a new Gallup poll that shows almost half of Americans don't feel secure about their banking system. This poll, taken about one month after the Silicon Valley and Signature Bank collapses, and of course we've had more since then, this poll finds the most worried groups of folks right now are people who are lower income, uh, without a college degree, but also a good portion of uh, the people surveyed identified as Republicans who said they were very concerned about the status of their banks. You're watching Fox 17 News This Morning, your code red station. It could be a historically very busy weekend here in Nashville. This morning, I'll break down what you need to know if you'll be in and around the downtown area. Maggie, thanks. And a couple different live looks here from Nashville. We're over at the airport live this morning. We've got a view into downtown on Lower Broadway where the locals, we might have, you know, we might have to shake it off a little bit. Thousands of people arriving in Music City, tens of thousands. We've got graduations, live concerts, sporting events, and so much more. How you can avoid bad blood by keeping up to date with us here on Fox 17 News this morning. We've got you covered for the next hour and a live look in the heart of downtown Nashville. We've had great weather all week. Not out of the woods yet. Rain on the way. Greg Bobas has your forecast. That if you're a local, you know all too well how bad oh the weather can impact the traffic and the traffic can get bad when people oh, yeah. don't know where they're oh, going. I think the Taylor Swift puns end there. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna say, yes, yes, yes. Good Let's morning. Just stop. Yeah, thank you for joining us. <laughs> stop, you're being too loud. See, you did it, Justin. I didn't do anything. You kind of did. I don't think I don't you knew know, you did. No, I know you I need to know. calm down. I'm Jennifer I don't know Wendell, anything about Justin any and this. Greg. We're so glad to be your live local news team here for you through 9 a.m. And listen, we're just, we just got to embrace it, right? It is what it to. is. A live look from Nashville International Airport right now as, yes, we have people flocking from all over the country. Check out the, the Grand Ole Opry view there from inside the airport. Um, listen, uh, the busy weekend in Nashville is going to impact people across all different platforms. We've got people who are here for one of the three Taylor Swift concerts uh, over at Nissan Stadium starting tonight. We have a string of college graduations. We have Tennessee State University, MTSU, Lipscomb. We also have Trevor Noah performing at the Ryman, Disney's Aladdin over at TPAC, and so much more. And we do have road closures, uh, especially impacting our friends who are waking up with us in East Nashville. You guys are kind of bearing the brunt of this along with our friends who live in downtown Nashville. Take a look at your screen right now. We've got pulled up live um, the closures that are in effect starting now. This includes Interstate Drive, parts of Woodland Street, Shelby Avenue. We've had a chance to talk with some people who live over in East Nashville and they say they're frustrated by the closures and they feel like their needs aren't considered during these big events. I mean, the only bridge they leave open is Jefferson Street Bridge. Well, my tax dollars paid for those bridges. So why are they closed off to traffic? Well, valid concerns that we have been <laughs> discussing here on Fox 17 News. Right now, as we have continuing coverage on the impacts, Fox 17 News' Maggie Lemire joining us live at Nissan Stadium. 
Jen, good morning to you. Some happy with the busyness of this weekend and some not so much. I want to show you a map that's really helpful if you'll be in and around downtown this weekend. Taking a look at your screen here, this shows you a visual representation of the roads that are set to be closed here in the downtown area as well as East Nashville. Uh, now, in addition to this, Woodland Street Bridge, that's closed to regular traffic 3.30 p.m. each day. And the KVB Bridge stays open before the concert, but that'll close at 10 15 p.m. Bottom line is traffic will be heavy around Nissan Stadium around the downtown area. So if you don't want to deal with that, if you don't live downtown or work downtown, maybe just steer clear of that. Uh, something also to consider is that this plan for closures is very similar to home Titans games. So if you are coming to the concert tonight, tomorrow, Sunday, uh, think like you would if you were coming to a Titans games. As far as closures go, uh, we do know that parking lots around here at Nissan Stadium, they're already sold out for parking. So you'll have to find additional parking elsewhere or possibly use an Uber or even a Lyft service. Reporting live outside Nissan Stadium, Maggie Lemire, Fox 17 News, your Red Station. Entertainment right now is 804. Taking a look at your forecast going into this weekend. Jen, at the beginning of this half hour, talked about all the events. She had me at Aladdin. So let, let, let's take you on your magic carpet ride of your forecast here for the next couple of days. Rain is in the forecast, but I have not ele uh, uh, elevated us out of all clear into code red. I am not worried about any severe weather. Here is later on today, 66 degrees at 11, and we stay in the 60s going throughout the entire afternoon. So it's going to be a cooler day than yesterday. There have been a couple of sprinkles out there this morning. Most of that rain has died down to ramp back up, getting us in toward the afternoon and evening. But the storm chance during concert time, which we've been talking about all morning, that has gone down since you went to bed last night, which is a really good thing here. So we'll go 67, 68 if we're lucky, 78 degrees tomorrow, 82 for your Sunday. And then we'll stay in the 70s and 80s for Monday all the way through Thursday. But take a look. There is a chance for rain each and every day. So let me break it down for you. Just give me five more minutes of your time and we'll look at future track and make sure we piece everything together. Justin. Thank you, Greg. 805 is the time. Steer clear traffic out there this morning. We were dealing with a very large buildup of traffic. It was right here, I promise, like a few seconds ago. And it's gone. Ellington Parkway at uh, Cleveland Street there in East Nashville this morning. Uh, we're doing okay as you get out there in that particular area. Uh, we're also following that construction on the north side here. Vietnam Veterans Boulevard near Gallatin Pike. This is exit three. You can get by. Just watch out for the workers out that way. We're going to show you some other areas of town and drive times. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. Justin, thank you. Hey, great chance also just to remind everybody we have a move over law here in the state of Tennessee. By law, you've got to move over if we have crews working on the road. We go to Rutherford County still to come here on Fox 17 News this morning where leaders are talking trash and the future of the Middle Point landfill. We'll take a look at the clock that's ticking. And a live look from downtown Nashville. Almost looks like we could have a little bit of rain off in the distance there. Congratulations, by the way, to our Nashville Sounds. They got a win overnight. They're back in town next week for a homestand.